All right, let's talk about slope computations. I have a scenario for you here in which we have a tangent profile of some highway center line, and we'll give it a station at this end of 158 plus 23.14. And at this end, we have 167 plus 5809. Okay? That's 167, like that. Okay. Then we have an elevation at this end of 872.17 feet. And at this end, we have 805.31 feet. We would like to know the elevation at some station 162 plus 5000. We want to know that elevation. So, if you remember from slope, you uh, learning from what you saw in school, slope is what? Rise over run. I like to call it vertical change over horizontal change, so V over H. So let's go about finding about what these values of V and H are. First of all, H for the total slope is going to be the difference in the two stations. So it will simply be 1675809 minus 158. 23.14 and that means H works out to be 934.95 feet. Then V. The difference will be 805.31 minus 872.17 and thus that difference works out to be a negative 66.86 feet. See it? Notice I started with my destination and I subtracted my origin. That is, if I'm going in the direction of increasing station, my destination is the greater station and my origin is the lesser station. I did the same thing for the vertical but notice I get a negative change because I'm going downhill aren't I? Alright, so we know the slope is simply going to be V over H and I have a negative 66.86 feet divided by 934.95 when I crank this out, uh, I get negative 0 0.0715 feet. That, or not feet, excuse me, that is feet per foot, or that is a slope. You could say this is uh, 0 0.0715 vertical feet per every horizontal foot, correct? Or we could call it unitless because feet and feet, whether they're vertical or horizontal, are the same unit. All right, so what's the distance then from my starting point? Let's start here, and we need to find the distance from there to my target station. So that's simply going to be the horizontal change I'm going to take 1625000 minus my 1582314 and I get a change there of 426.86 feet okay well if slope equals vertical over horizontal and in this case, I want the vertical change from my starting point. I'm simply going to solve this and solve, find out that H times S equals vertical, doesn't it? Okay, that's exactly what I'll do. I'm simply going to take my 426.86 feet times my slope. In this case, it's negative zero. 
0.0715. And I crunch those numbers, and I'm going to get negative 30.52 feet. That is my vertical change, isn't it? Okay. So I'm going to apply that to my starting elevation, 872.17. Plus a negative value here. That will make sense because I'm going downhill from my original point, aren't I? And that is going to give me an elevation of 841.65 feet. So that is the elevation at 162 plus 50.00. Okay. The key here is simply remembering to use the simple relationship of slope that you learned in junior high.